In this video, I'll show you how to make a signature in Outlook on the desktop version, and then I'll show you how to do it in the web version as well. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. Feel free to go and skip to the method you want in this video as I'm covering the web and the desktop version as I just mentioned. Now let's go and get straight into this. We're going to start this video with adding our signature to the Outlook version, which is downloaded on our computer, i.e. app. And then in the second half of this video, I'll go and show you how to do it with the Outlook web version. So if you're on the app, all you want to do is either come to the top left and click on file. Then once you're in file, come to the bottom where it says options and then wait for it to load. And here we are. Then all you want to do is go and select mail in this drop down here. And as you can see over here, we've got signatures and you can go and click on it. So all you want to do is come up to select signature to edit. You want to go and click on new unless you've already got one you're trying to edit and you want to go and click on new just like so and we need to go and type a name. So I'm going to name this example just like so and go and click OK. Then once you've done that, you then want to come over to the right hand side where we can go and choose our default signature. So at the minute it's set on none, but of course you want to go and use this when we're about to go and create. So make sure you go and add example and then if you want to use one for apply and forwarding, you can go and add, add the one as well. Then once you've gone and set that up, you then want to come to the bottom where it says edit signature. And here we can go and add the info we'd like to go and add. So I'm going to go and add my name. So I'm going to go and add Rob Tucker, just like so. And you can also go and change the font of that. So go and highlight it. And then we can go and change it any of these fonts. I'm just going to keep it on Calibri. And you can also go and change the font size as well. And in addition to that, you can go and make it bold if you'd like. You can go and use italics and you can go and underline it as well. And then you can go and choose the formatting as well with it being centered or however you'd like. Then once you've done that, we can go and add a bit more info as well. So I'm going to turn off the boldness. I'm just going to go and add content creator, just like so. And there we go. I'm pretty happy with that. And you can also go and add an image as well. So to do that, come on to the right hand side. and We've got this image logo here. So go and click on that. And then your file explorer will open and you can go and select the image and then go and click on insert in the bottom right. And I'm going to go and make this image a lot smaller as it's really big. So either you can go and use these lines here to go and make it smaller or you can right click on it, go and click on picture and then we can go and change the crop or the size. So I'm gonna go and change the size to about a quarter of that. So I'm gonna go and type in four and then go and change that to four as well and then go and press okay. And as you can see, it's then gonna go and make it a more ideal size. Then once you're happy with it, all you need to do is go and press okay. Of course, you can go and add more text as well and you can also go and change the color by clicking on automatic. Then you can go and press okay and it's going to go and save that. I will press OK again. And now all you want to do is go and make sure home is selected and go and press on new email. And it's going to take you to load. And as you can see, there is our signature in the bottom. And I can go and send an email. Now I want to go and show you how to do it in the web browser. Here we are on the Outlook website. I got here from office.com, but there's lots of different ways to get here. All you want to do is come to the top right. You've got this settings called just here. Then all you want to do is either go and search the Outlook settings for signature or you can go and click on view or outlook settings in the bottom. And here we go. Then you want to make sure mail is selected. Then you want to go and click on compose and reply. And here we are. We can then go and name this signature name. So I can go and name this example. Then we can go and type in for what you want the signature to actually say. So I'm going to go and have this Rob Tucker once again. And then I'm going to go and add YouTube or something like that. And then I'll add my phone number as well as just an example. And then once again, you can come to the bottom and we can go and add a picture. You can also go and format the painter as well. And you can go and change the font and a ton of other awesome features as well, including highlighting, bolding, italics and stuff like that. So I'm going to go and highlight that there and then I'm going to make it bold either by clicking up here or down here as well. And now I'm just going to go and add an image quickly as well. And here is the image I added. And once again, it's quite big. So you want to go and click on it once so it's selected and then you can right click on it and you can go and change the size by going on to size. I'm personally not going to have an image. So I'm just going to go and do the back key just like so and that goes and deletes it. Then once you're happy with that, then you want to come down to select default signatures and you want to go and make sure you go and select your new one. So I just named this example one, as you can see it's up here. And then you can go and choose if you want to use it for applies and forwards as well, which I am. So I'm gonna go and click save and then go and click save just like so. Then we can come and close off of this and we want to go and click new message just like so. Then as you can see, it's now using our signature in the bottom of our email. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more, peace.